Hello, we're Malta, and today I bought a lovely oil painting by Willy Apap. Willy Apap, A-P-A-P, -A -P, brother of Vincenzo Vincent Apap. So in Malta in the 20th century, there was a school, a good quantity of proficient artists. And there are a couple of dozen names which are becoming very sought after. The Cremonas, the Apaps, the Bartholets, the Petries, and uh, a range of artists who developed their skills not only independently, but by looking at what other artists were doing in Malta and by looking at what they're doing in Italy. For example, Vella. I think he went to school in Italy to learn from a tutor about art. And there were, there were exhibitions in Italy and there were, there were exhibitions in Europe and the, the Italian and the French and the Spanish and the English to a lesser degree, but to a degree had an, had an input in the European art. And in the 20th century, the presentation of art changed and people started to paint in a different way. Picasso first exhibited in England, I think it was 1920. So it was, a, it was a, an era of change and in Malta it was the sort of end of the large daubs of the Madonnas and the proliferation of ships painted side on, Esposito type pictures, Dessalone type pictures, Camilleri type pictures and, and it brought in all these new types of art, different subjects, different ways of presenting images, different me me media, different subjects, subjects like buildings, studies of people, um, abstract. So it became quite fluid and varied. So you have this Vince Willie Appap, and this picture shows Slima. And it shows, I think it's St Anne's Square. And when I was a child, there used to be a kiosk there called the Magic Kiosk. I think it's the same place, um, which is gone. And it was a very smart kiosk with a retracting roof, which we all, we all liked. And it was trendy and you get a nice cold ice cream, a nice cold Coca-Cola and the toilets are downstairs. So it's quite a sort of interesting place. And I think since this was painted, the area of land has been filled in and there's been a car park put in. So it's a, it's a version of, a depiction of the area, how it was before the Magic Kiosk and before the big car park and before Zara and before all the horrible cafes which has completely choked that part of town. So you've got the yellow buildings with the green shutters You've got some trees, some pine trees. You have a kiosk of a sort. This is called the Ferris. This is the area called the Ferris. And I guess that's a, a ticket office or something. I don't know. And you have the characteristic Maltese boats. They're not gondolas. They're like gondolas, but they're distinctively Maltese. And you have people waiting for Ferris, which take you to, I suppose, Valletta. So it's a small picture, and they've, it's been done on a lovely panel. They're very helpfully left the panel visible. And um, the idea here really is, you can see what he's painted on. He's painted on a, a, a shop board, properly made artist board. It's um, rather like the Ellen Dahlias, Luigi Mirigalias, who also, which were also painted on this type of board. And there are, there are, there are some interesting things on the back. It says where it was framed. And there is a little cutout here. I'll read it to you. Apap Willie Maltese, 1918 to 1970, brother of the sculptor Vincent Apap. We have a, we have a Vincent Apap dog, a, a maquette, a chateau, a plastic dog, which he signed in 1950. So we have one, one from each brother. Won a scholarship in the Accademia di Bellati in Rome and became a resident of the Eternal City. Painted landscapes, still lifes and portraits amongst his sitters were the last king of Italy, 
Belgam Grattan, Indian, sorry, Italian ministers and opera singers, died in 1961. Princess Anna at Windsor. One man exhibitions in Casapania Gallery, Rome. Grabowski Gallery, London, with Vincent. Lagostinimiana, Rome, retrospective at Cathedral Museum, Malta, 1984. So, so he was established and had a following of, of a sort. And the, the, the Apap brothers are two of the Maltese painters whose names are in, in the ascendancy in terms of the market. If you have a house in Malta, nowadays the woman and the man are more likely to buy this than to buy a, a saint picture not only because it's cheerful and, and small it's because the the, 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 sub, the subject is more more interesting and if, if you're located in, in Slima it's of, 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 of obviously of particular interest the um, other 20th century painters in ascendancy are, are the ones I mentioned, Cremona, Barthouet, I can't remember them now, um, top, top, off the top of my head, but, the, but they're the, the names which consistently, Saliba is a good artist, underrated, and will climb, Carbonaro is a good artist, underrated, and will climb, and there's a crowd of them, and um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, of matter out there, a lot, a lot of product out there, and it does circulate and you can get it. There, there are the Fedans people, there are the, the Trevelyan people. I saw two, two Fedans this year in Malta. And the, the, the attitude really at the moment is if, if you want, want to, you have to get it. And uh, prices are, are really very high and are climbing. And the, mar the market's healthy because people are wanting to find a refuge for their, for their cash. And with a picture, you, you, can, you can hold it and see it and enjoy it and move it around if you want to. And it's, it, it is just as quick to get your money out of a, a picture take it to sell room as if you want to get your money out of a long-term savings account so it's actually easier to get your money out of out of the picture because you haven't got to faff around so so we have this picture for sale it's a small picture is it expensive it's mid-range will it go up in price uh i think it's only fair i say it probably won't go down in price has it gone up in price a lot in the last two years it's gone up a lot in the last two years it's a whole new set of prices in the last two years and I, I think that the trajectory and the, and the momentum and the, and the sort of latent demand is that the, the things will continue to rise. Um, there are people like me, dealers and collectors, who will hoover up anything which is un underpriced. And um, whether it's in Malta or somewhere else, the market's being watched. And the, the idea really for a dealer is you, 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 create, you create a stock and you try and select nice pictures that people will want and the margin that goes on for the cost price is just a, a normal a normal margin you'd expect so so this is for sale in Malta when I sell it I will tell I will tell the buyer what I paid for it and I'll give them a copy of the receipt I paid for it and I'll give them a Maltese fiscal receipt what I sell it for and, and they can establish a provenance and if it comes to sell it in five or ten years there's a track and it's, it's traceable and you need to have a receipt for your purchases really if it's going to be sent abroad, you, you can't send it to the board unless you've got a receipt. You can't actually, you can't actually fill in the customs form. So, so um, we will give a receipt. We will we will disclose what it costs to buy, and then the buyer will understand the margin and will not be forever scratching their heads and wondering what the price really ought to be. The the, the market price is um, is. Uh, Never, it's always more than you want it to be. But if you, if you want to join in, you have to pay the market price. Um, the moment we're selling more pictures than we can buy. And uh, I'm reluctant just to sort of fill up on random stock. I'm, I'm still trying to, to, to be selective. I'm still trying to find nice things. And the, the test of that is if I don't sell it, I don't really mind. That's really the, the threshold. And um, we try, we're trying to buy, for the Maltese market, we, we are trying to buy Maltese pictures. We have, we have quite a lot of them, uh, which we sell on the internet, and we sell at shows, and we sell in sale rooms. But I think that, that is a lovely picture. It has a French look about it. Looks like a sort of Frenchish picture, um, the way it's done. I think that the scene is wonderful. 
I mean, I think because it's from this famous, the famous artist who, whose uh, price is in, in the ascendancy, I, I think that it's a, it's a, it, would, it would be a nice thing to have and, and hang up in your, in your house. Thanks very much for looking.